guys. This is Sean of the Dead. Um, most of you guys know I like Glock. Uh, between my Glock um, firearms themselves and my Sub 2000, um, I have a few Glock bags. Um, you've seen my rig probably. Um, if not, I'll have to do a, a specific video on that. But I believe you've seen that. Um, I have a 5 mag uh, pouch that goes on my side that holds 5 of my Glock mags. Um, my drop holster happens to have an extra mag in the front, and then of course I have some stick mags for my um, Sub 2000. And of course that's my room clearing device, so if I'm going in and I'm doing an acquisition run, and I'm clearing the house for zombies, uh, I, I have something that's short, um, it's a handgun caliber, mags are interchangeable with my sidearm, you know, every, everything's, everything's great. Um, so, um, I've been wanting to get some plus two um, adapters for my uh, for my mags for a while, and so I went to uh, go pick up a new spring for my shotgun, um, and happened to have some springs set in it. It was kind of wore out. Uh, the last round was having some issues uh, dropping out of the tube, uh, so I could chamber it, and so I went in, found one, um, bought a couple, bought, bought an extra spring for it also. So I changed it out, so now I ran through some dummy rounds through it, cycled it, cycled fine. Um, now I get to take a trap shooting. Um, so from that, um, moving forward, uh, I've went ahead and picked up a second, a second spring, so that way if I have any issues in the future, I have a backup. Um, you know me, I like redundancy. Um, so what I thought I'd do is uh, I would, I would share with you what I found today. Um, on my way back from the store... I happened to pass this other gun store. Um, I have the actual piece here, but um, this is a Glock Plus XL. So instead of plus two, it's a plus three round. And I was like, plus three? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So um, this is a little different than some of them. Um, this one actually has a little nub on it uh, that, that fits down in there. Um, a lot of the ones that I've seen before, um, this is smooth, so, that, so a little difference, not, not a whole lot, um, and uh, everything else seems to be the same. It does have some texture here, so it has some peaking extension. Uh, these would be great for people with Glock 26s, uh, so instead of having 10 rounds, it gives you 13 rounds. That gets real close to that 15 round uh, mag that a, a G19 has, and you get a full grip on your handgun. Uh, so you get a full fist grip, and you have your backup mags, if you have them the same, you have 13 rounds. That's not bad. So you have 14 to start, 13 rounds, you know, hey, that, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Especially in the subcompact, I, I feel pretty good about that. Um, if you don't have a Glock tool, um, you can build one easily. You just go to a hardware store, you can get like an Allen wrench um, of appropriate size. Um... I can't remember. I think it's like a man. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember the exact size. I, I bought one and I cut one down, and I use it for most of my Glock stuff. But I, I went ahead and just picked up a Glock tool while I was there, um, so I could go ahead and just do the change. Um, so um, if you don't know how to, to change these, I'll show you at the same time as I put this new thing on. Um, there's this little button here uh, on the Glock mag. You suppress with your Glock tool. You squeeze in on the side. And you pull forward, and you got to hold your mouth right, or it won't work. Uh, once you get it cracked forward, um, make sure you have one thumb in the center to follow. As you follow, this is under pressure with the spring. Then you go ahead and pull, and pull, and you have the two pieces that come apart. Then you have the spring, and then you can take the whole follower out and have a hollow mag if you so chose. Uh, if, if, it's, if you've been using it a lot you can clean it, you can check your springs. Uh, this is a new mag so uh, there's no issues there. Um, I haven't fired too, too many through most of these. Um, one of the best ways to do this in my personal opinion, um, the way I like to do it, is um, of course you have to figure out where, where this, which direction this goes. Uh, and it's easy to find out because it will actually match the contour of your mag. So you, I, I personally like to put this over first 
so I have something to suppress the spring properly uh, without, without too much tension and then you simply put this over and it should click watch your fingers right into place and there you go, it's on. Simple as that. Uh, now that's an extra three rounds. So now this should hold uh, 20 rounds versus 17. So let me get my handy dandy speed loader out of my Maxpedition bag. Uh, in here I have Glock Mag speed loader. Uh, holster, um, and I have it on purpose because that was my comp bag. I carry that to comps. Uh, let's go ahead and just use some uh, Tula ammo that I happen to have sitting here. Oddly enough, I had truly just happened to have that sitting here. Um, so, four rows of five. So, 20 rounds. So let's see if this is uh, exactly as they say. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the great thing about Glock is it does have witness holes. So right now I know I'm at seven, and all I have to do is just check my witness holes, and it shows, look, I'm at seven. Um, until you hit beyond your number, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> this is great. Uh, Seventeen. Oh, just hit the, the normal clock limit with this whole show. 17. Ah, uh, there we go. Getting tight. Uh, wow. Let's give me some resistance. 18. Nineteen. So that's a plus two already. Let's see. I'm not seeing it so far, and maybe unless it's just really, really tight. 20. Okay, it does in fact hold 20. Wow, yeah. Feel the extra three rounds. It feels really funny. Um, so yeah, 20 round mag for a Glock. So, um, that, that's pretty cool. Um, and now I just wonder how it cycles and, and feels. Um, Everything feels tense and tight. I mean, this just look at that. No wiggle room whatsoever. I mean, you're you're max capacity here. Um, so that's pretty cool. So now um, some of my buddies have like AR10s and uh, and M1As things like that. Uh, they're 308 rounds, the 7.62 by 51 uh, NATO. Um, those are 20 round mags for battle rifles and. Um, I was thinking, well, if I had a plus two mag um, extension on my Glock 17 round mags, let's put some 19, so I'm slapping 19 rounds into my sub-2000, that's almost a battle rifle. So I felt pretty decent about that in general, but now that extra one bullet, I mean, that makes me feel even better. Um, uh, this was um, nine bucks uh, plus tax, um, so that's not bad. I have a few more of these to purchase, but I mean... Outside of spending nine bucks for an extra three rounds uh, in your mag, um, yo, know, hey, um, I'm I am going to put this to the test before I go off and buy a whole frack load of these things and start converting all my mags over because um, I don't like to untest gear, untested gear. Um, so I want to go ahead and test this. I want to do want to test this out first. Uh, roll it with twenty rounds and see what happens and see if, if there's any flaws or anything any feed issues, because um, that's putting a lot of pressure on that. Uh, it's not something I definitely want to keep loaded with that much extra tension on the spring, because uh, that's a lot of a lot of weight, a lot of tension. Um, so, let's see. 
seems to be fine. Everything's sliding out okay. So yeah, 20 rounds. So yeah, a Glock 20 round mag uh, for your for your sub 2000 for your you know, Glock 17. Um, that that makes me feel even better. Whenever I go to clear rooms, if I know that you know I have an extra hundred rounds on my on my hip, and I have an extra 20 rounds here, that's an extra 120 rounds. Plus, I'm going to have 18 rounds in the firearm because I like that slimmer profile. So I'm going to leave the first one just 17 rounds plus one. Um, so that's 18 rounds, and then I have 120 rounds, and then if I add these to my uh, actual uh, stick mags, then each one of them, are, instead of being 33 rounds, they're going to be 34 rounds. So my first stick mag is a 35 round mag. So that, that's, that's, that's getting up there in, in some, uh, in some uh, ammo throwing. So, uh, so just uh, give you a heads up. Um, I should do a, a better review on my uh, Sub-2000. Uh, just a quick side note on that. A lot of people complain about um, 115 grain ammo. Uh, a lot of people complain about um, brass casings and Tula ammo uh, in their in their Sub-2000. I have a Sub-2000 um, and it chewed everything I put in it up from, um, let's see, what was it, a Federal uh, bulk ammo to uh, Tula steel casing. Not doesn't matter. Didn't matter what I put. 115 grain Luger 9 by 19. Not a problem. No, I didn't put it. I didn't have to put any uh, uh, plus P ammo in it, and it worked just fine. So uh, again, this is Sean of the Dead. As always, uh, tell me what you think. If you like this video, if this is helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Um, as always, please, please, please give me your comments. Um, give me what your thoughts. If you find, if you find mag extensions that are worth that are worth more than three extra rounds, uh, if you find like an extra five round one or something, let me know. I'd like to know these things, um, and I know my viewers would like to know it also. Um, so as always, you know, please, please keep it civil. Please stay on topic. Um, you know, and please, you know, give me all the feedback. You know, I, I want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you didn't know how to change the mag out on the Glock, now you do. Hopefully that helped. Um, if uh, you didn't know about the plus three, I didn't until tonight, uh, about the plus three versus just the plus two. Um, and if you see it has the texture, um, the same kind of grips as are on a Gen 4 Glock. Um, so if you're, if you're rolling with a uh, Glock 26, this might be something really, really, uh, really good option for you. So as always... Uh, Subscribe.